So we're um, all settled in there. Well, we're not settled in. I've still got to unpack everything. Um, but this is the start of the vlog. So I've just showed on my other video um, the park, which I'm not going to go into on this one. But it's really exciting because where we are, um, I bet you it's not that far to get to the main end, main complex, you know. Here's Chris, by the way. Hello. Um, and like I've showed on the other video, this is our view. We've got a balcony. And yeah, it's really it's really nice now. But if I came here on like the school holidays, I'm not sure how I'd feel how busy this is all gonna get. I'll just open this. Uh, the sun's actually come out for us um for the last hour, which is really good. Um up so daisy, the wind, yeah, wind. Yeah, we've got a 40 inch TV, we all love that, and this is our kitchen. But we're gonna try and get everything out now. Um we've just had a bloke actually this today there our next door neighbours and um, he decided to come in our caravan and just explore a bit i think you don't realize to be honest but uh, yeah so this is what we've got we've got like an ikea bag i thought that's useful we've got our like you know um towels clothing bits and bobs and i've got my cooler bag which i got from the charity shop I've used that and i've just picked up some bits that we had in the fridge um and it's literally freezing it cowards which we love um just our coat so i'm gonna hang everything up organize everything but here I am. Um, I look an absolute. I looked presentable when I walked out. By the way, this is the um thing that I'm using, um for 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 this trip. And this little tripod is absolutely fantastic. Um, hello. But I'm I look an absolute mess. We love that. Um, so I mean, it was like literally a three and a half hour drive here. The drive wasn't bad, apart from the rain was so bad. Um, going through what's it called, Doncaster that kind of way but anyway that's our view we love it we love it love it and our tails and it anyway but i've done a completely different video on that one so you are going to see that on today's video um so i'm going to literally in fact i'm going to go to the loo because i really need the loo and not like you needed to know that and literally pop everything away so let's uh let's do that now So, 
so it's a new day today we're going to go and explore some beaches we're going to go to philly beach i think that's how you pronounce it we're going to probably drive to bringlington because it's about 20 25 minutes away from blue dolphin park so we're going to go and explore that um we've never been to any of these places so we're just going to go there create some more memories and get some maybe ice cream just all those different bits tomorrow i think we're going to go to scarborough and where's it all the place and Whitby um so we can probably have some fish and chips down there so it's really really exciting so come along today um for a little bit of a ride Say hello to everyone. Hi. I think it's start oh no, it's starting to rain and we forgot our jackets. But this is bring bringing turn. Had a nightmare just parking. Very windy, got cafe, got fish and chips down here. Loads and loads and loads of clams down here. Can you crab down here? Uh, only when the tide's in. Let me just get down. I'm scared of you falling down. Like Bab, this is the harbour. Without the tide in. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Look, cafe, restaurant to the back. Seagulls. Let's just hope it just doesn't tip tip down no, the rain. In yeah. all, it's going to rain because we've got the seagulls lined up. Let's go you can see them down there. Over there, down there. Yeah, I can see. Oh, down there. Oh, yeah. Alright. So, Chris said we might get some fish and chips today. Are we going to get fish and chips? Well, shall we go on back and get a fish? We'll do it on the way back. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, because we're having. Uh, we're going to go to Whitby tomorrow for my birthday. Which means really, really fresh, nice fish and chips over there. Because they've got their own fish and pork, so. Yeah, we're gonna, to and we're gonna get a buzz all the way to Whitby. Is that right? Um, that buzz to Scarborough. The, from our camp to Scarborough, and then Scarborough to Whitby. So that's gonna be eventful. Well, all of for course. Four pound. Well, um, yeah, because the two pound buzz fair, but we'll show you exactly that tomorrow. But yeah, let's continue walking. So we've got our first fish and chips in Bringington. What we got? Haddock. Yeah, Haddock. And these are our chips, so we're going to tuck into some of them. They're going to be hot. They are nice chips. Yeah. I'll have to try some of the fish. That will be freshly cooked. Everything's cooked that, to order, so. Yeah, cooked to that order. Just might need to blow on it a little bit. That is spot on. is a new day it is chris's birthday so we're going to celebrate that all day we're going to do something completely different that we've never pretty much done before and that is we're going to get the boards outside the camp and we're going to go into scarborough and then from scarborough into whitby so it's going to be a long journey i think it's about 
half an hour into Scarborough and then like an hour's journey but apparently it's really really scenic and beautiful and we're just going to do something completely just not what we normally do hopefully it's going to be all right and um, we're just so used to driving everywhere that it's a bit like how we're how we're going to be but I'm prepared I've got a drink I've got my bag with paracetamol i've just got, i've got everything prepared um so we're going to do that today and i'm going to show you chris's cards he's just in the living room we've just opened all them and yeah so these are all the cards so we've just opened them and then this is the leaflet that was in the reception area which is really really good because it's got all the times of the buzzes um outside the camp going to scarborough coming back etc um but then they've got this um map as well and currently we are at blue dolphin so we're here so we're going to get the bus all the way to scarborough the only thing is we're going to catch the bus to whitby from there if we do um and yeah but it's just nice to see then what time so at the moment i'll turn that round we're edging on to about nine o'clock in the morning and our bus is at 25 past so we're going to try and get ready now have some toast and i'll show you the rest of the day Finished with the buzz rise, which was over an hour, which was mad, and I've just got myself a cup of tea. <laughs> So busy. <laughs> what beautiful. Look at that. There's lots of shops, restaurants. And then he started looking, he started walking over. And we're gonna make our way all the way out there. So after exploring a little bit of Whitby, we noticed this open top bus, which was amazing actually. We really recommend going on here if you ever visit. It was £8 for an adult and I'm not sure how much it was for children. Um, but in a moment I will just show you how far it takes you. But you go all through here, you see all the sea. Um, and it goes through the history and the famous landmarks, like where all the hotels are and stuff. It's just really, really worth it if you're into that type of thing. But even just having the accessibility of going around, and that's the Abbey over there where it takes you and it can bring you back if you choose to. I just think that's absolutely amazing. And I thought I'd just let you know that whilst you're watching these little videos. Six. Yes, Take a picture. 
picture. They're just like, yeah, well. our last day here and i can't believe it's actually gone that it's actually i say it's going quick but it actually hasn't i feel like we've really fulfilled every single day yes yeah, so the clips kind of um ended abruptly i would say because it was very very busy considering it's not school holidays it was just a really busy atmosphere um and it was just a bit intense at times we was going to do like a bit of a boat journey it was only five pound which i thought wasn't bad it goes around the harbour um but we didn't end up doing that because when we went further down into whitby like further towards the back it was like an open top bus and like was a bit skeptical at first and i was like chris i think that goes to the ruins at the top i think it's called whitby abbey i'm pretty sure it's called that but where like it's like dracula and all that kind of museum type thing um anyway so it was eight pound each and when i hear that i'm like oh eight like 16 pound just to get on a bus but to be honest it was probably the best thing we did that day it was so so good we managed to go through all the little landmarks um, and see everything Um, you can get off at certain points on the trip as well if you didn't want to go a full way but we did the full trip it was about 45 five minutes and i think it was definitely worth it so i'm really glad we did that once we ended that which is the clips we grabbed some food we had, had fish and chips again so we did that we thought you know what let's just go back on the bus because it's going to take like nearly two hours to get back um so we got on the bus it was getting a little bit busy and that's one thing that we'll say is the bus from scarborough to whitby and vice versa is extreme it is busy to be honest which it's going to be when the tickets are like two quid i'm not sure how long that's going to last for and um, but at the moment they are two paying for the adult and um, for a single trip so for an hour two quid that's not bad at all but i will say it is a bit you know it, it goes all over the place it struggles to get up the hills and unfortunately on the way back our bus actually broke down which isn't ideal so we kind of had to wait for another bus and that was already busy so it was really jam-packed and um, by that point we still had another 40 minutes to go so i think next time i definitely will drive however it was a good experience we did really enjoy our day yesterday the best we could and um i think that's the thing when you go to new places you don't know what it's, what it's going to be the atmosphere if it's going to be busy i'm just really shocked how busy it was we just never expected it but again it is like july um and i think scotland if i'm correct i think this time of year they have or they start their six weeks holiday anyway um what we're going to do today um is we're going to go back to scarborough because we, even though we went into there to get the bus to get to whitby we never actually explored so we're going to go back there today by car and um, however that is literally two pound to get there so you could always go by bus if you want we are going to go by the car park up see what the atmosphere is down there because the, there's no point driving nearly four hours up the country and not actually going to scarborough um because we was going to do a bit of a rest day today because yesterday was a bit intense however we're going to go back to scarborough have a couple of hours around there i'll bring you along i have no idea how the how this video is going to be because you just never know because i'm videoing and you just don't know how that video is going to come together but hopefully it's going to be all right um anyway come along to scarborough with us today and hopefully we'll have a really good day so we've arrived in scarborough chris has got what's that welks. welks i've got donuts and a drink and again it's uh pretty busy we managed to find a really good parking space now. Oh look, they've got the lifeboat open. Now we're in the arcade. On these. But does anyone remember these? No deal. No deal. So we've 
I've just escaped the absolute mayhem behind me. Let me turn you around. I'm trying to look for somewhere to eat. I think up there in front, right at the top, there's a little fair, but there is a sea life centre, I think. Um, I just stood here, just taking some pictures. Oh, I think there's uh, some people on that boat, actually. They might be doing some uh, boat trips, maybe. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to look for somewhere to eat now. So, I'll let you know if we do. But yeah, we're really enjoying the sun's coming out. And Chris is just sat over there, so I'm gonna go back to him now. And that's an Italian restaurant. So I thought before we go, I'm just gonna show you Scarborough Beach. Look at this. Lots going on over there. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it's really pretty. So we're gonna go and find something to eat. I think we might actually drive somewhere else. Because uh, it's just, yeah, no room, but uh, that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> 